Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to express a piecewise function in terms of unit step function, just like in question 6a. For ft equal to t for t between 0 and 1, is equal to 2 for t between 1 and 3, and 0 for t greater than 3. Express f of t in terms of unit step function. First, recall what is a unit step function. A unit step function u of t minus c for any c greater than 0 is defined as 0 for t less than c and it's 1 for t greater than equal to c. Now in terms of graph, you'll find that especially the graph of u t minus 1, it is equal to 0 for t less than 1. And it's equal to 1 for t greater than equal to 1. Very often, this is u t minus c as a on off switch. What is the usefulness of this unit step function here? One of the application of the unit step function is to create a window, such as a function equal to 1 for t between 1 and 3 and otherwise is equal to 0. We can create a function easily, this function easily by using unit step function. In fact, ft is equal to just u t minus 1 unit step function u t minus 1 minus unit step function u t minus 3. This will give, give you the function value 1 between 1 to 3 and 0 otherwise. So we can make use of this principle. For example, if you want to have a value, let's say 2, then all you need to do is use this and multiply by 2. So we can now apply this method to convert the piecewise function to in terms of unit step function. Our function is t from t between 0 and 1. So we can create a window, say ft is one single line as I want it equal to t, but it's only between 0 and 1. So I can use unit step function t minus 0 minus unit function unit step function t minus 1. So this will give me a value of t only between 0 and 1 and otherwise 0. Then I want to get a value f of t equal to 2, but this is only happening from between 1 and 3. So I can write this as u t minus 1 minus u t minus 3. And then I will want this value to be 0 for t greater than 3. So I equal to 0 multiplied by u t minus 3 to minus u t minus infinity, from t to infinity, right? Now, what is actually u t minus infinity? If we recall that u of t minus c look like this. So you have a point c here. u of t minus c will be 0 all the way to c, then 1. All right, this is u t minus c. So in particular, so if you want to find u t minus infinity, this is actually zero when push c all the way to infinity. Therefore, this is equal to zero. And we finally have the function f t in terms of unit step function. Unit step function means t times u t minus u t minus one plus two times u t minus one minus u t minus 3 and this is the answer for question 6 part A.